All right, will a precipitate form? So let's try a question here. Student combines a solution of AgNO3 with a solution of KBr. Will a precipitate form? So first of all, let's look at what's AgNO3 going to give me. It's going to give me Ag plus ions and NO3 minus ions. And KBr is going to give me K plus ions and Br minus ions. So... That's what I have in my beaker right now. It doesn't really matter how much of each I have right at this second, but that's how that's what I've got. So um, I guess the these things aren't this is not going to join up with that again, and that's not going to join up with that again. We're interested in would I have partner switches? Yes. Would I get A G B R or would I get K N O3? Yes. Now, if I look at the solubility rules that you would have used in grade 11, um, the answer here is that this is soluble and this is not. So this is the one right here that I might be interested in. Okay. So um, let's set out about um, seeing if a precipitate will actually form. So uh, Ag, where's Ag coming from? Let's look at this. Let's look at this AgNO3 right now. Um, AgNO3 solid will break apart and give me Ag plus and NO3 minus. Yes, and I know that the concentration of this is one times ten to the minus three molar. And the ratio is 1 to 1 to 1. So this is going to be 1 times 10 to minus 3 molar. And this is going to be 1 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. Yes? Sorry. Um, and this is this... What is AgNO3 giving me of interest? It's giving me the Ag. Yes, because that's going to be used in my possible precipitate here. Um, the other thing I have is KBr. So KBr solid is breaking up into K and Br minus. Yes. And this concentration is 5 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. So this is going to be 5 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. And this is going to be 5 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. Um, and so um, this is the one that I'm most interested in. Now, let's talk about what I'm actually trying to see. Is this thing going to form right here. So let's write that reaction also. AgBr solid Ag plus and Br minus. Sorry. Yeah. Move a couple things out of my way. Br minus, yes. Now uh, I know the concentration of Br minus is 5 times 10 to the minus 3, and I know the concentration of Ag is 1 times 10 to the minus 3, yes? Um, so I guess um, what I'm going to do is uh, take... Um, this. Now, this, this next part is similar to which way will the equilibrium go to reach equilibrium? Will it shift left or right? And we figured out a reaction quotient Q. We did the exact same thing here. Um, I was taught years ago to call this a trial KSP is equal to AG plus times BR minus. And I'm going to plug in these values. And I call it a trial because I, 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 I'm not sure. I'm going to do some comparison after. So 1 times 10 to the minus 3. 5 times 10 to the minus 3, I get 5 times 10 to the minus 6. Now, your actual KSP, when you look that up in different uh, sources, you would get 5.4 times 10 to the minus 13. 
So now what I want to do is I want to look at these two numbers here, this guy and this guy. This is what, this is the maximum amount of ions. This times this, at the very most, can be this. Currently, this times this is this. Now, this is much bigger than that, way bigger, too big. So I'm just going to, I don't know what I can do here. I want to just keep writing here, try and like write it like this. So this guy right here is too big. Yes, when I compare the two. So uh, must get smaller. So how am I going to get these concentrations to get smaller? When I look at the reaction right here, I have to get this and this smaller. The reaction is going to go left. And you know what I'm going to make? A solid. So must get smaller. Therefore, reaction shifts left. Therefore, precipitate forms. That's how I do these questions. Now, careful. Other questions, and this one didn't, might give you some volumes here so, and say you mixed it. So I'm just going to give you a bit of a warning here. When I have two beakers of stuff, right? Like let's say KBr and AgNO3, yes? And if I have the, I have 100 milliliters of this and 100 milliliters of that, when I mix them into a bigger beaker, what's my new volume? 200 milliliters. So notice that um, the concentrations would change for the ions that I'm interested in. Uh, so I have to find the new concentrations. Now you can try a question like that um, in in uh, the two practice problems that you're going to uh, that you're going to solve now.